Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. I couldn't get back in. So okay. just for your information, so Kelly is recording this. It's not on the same YouTube live stream because it's not able to happen that way in a split second. You have to schedule those ahead of time. But what we will do is we will give this recording to IT and it will go onto the website with the other section. Thank you very much, Diane. And thank you, Kelly, for working so quickly to get us all back. I'm sorry you all went away. I waited and waited. I thought maybe they went to executive session and just left me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are back. Uh, Agenda item 9.0 is new business. Agenda item 9.1 is the meeting minutes of October 15th, 2020. Do I have a motion? So moved. Uh, second. Second. Is there any discussion? Okay, seeing none, Diane. Mrs. Giftus? Yes. Dr. Gill? Yes. Ms. Casalonis? Yes. Ms. Layton? Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes. Mrs. Scyther? Yes. Mrs. Turner? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. And Ms. Giftis? Yes. Excellent. Thank you, guys. So agenda item 9.2, Kelly, if you could share the presentation. Um, I did put slides together for each of the committee assignments. Um, so I pulled the, just like last year, what Leanne did for us, um, I followed suit and pulled the descriptions from the policy that governs our committees. That being said, um, that policy needs to be updated. And so my request is that we put that um, on the list of policies that need to be looked at for the policy committee, because it does not include a curriculum committee, um, which has been a standing committee, a committee for us for quite some time. Um, and so I use the description that's on the website, um, but that is actually not referenced in our policy. Um, so just moving quickly kind of through these, uh, for finance this year, uh, Sarah has agreed to chair for another year, and we're very grateful for that. Um, and this year, joining her committee will be Leanne Kazlonis and Kristen Turner. For negotiations, uh, Nick Gill will be our chair with members Alicia Giftis and Shannon Lindstrom. For policy review, Alicia Giftis will again this year be our chair um, with Leanne Kazalonis and myself. Um, it's the only committee I stayed on. Uh, that being said, as we progress through the year, um, if other people would like an opportunity, um, I think it goes without saying that there's plenty of work to be done and that there's only seven of us. Um, and so I stayed on policy review for the time being, but if people are finding that their committee work is light, and they would like an opportunity, um, that's certainly something that we can revisit um, as the year goes on. So next slide, please. Our outreach and communication task team this year is gonna be chaired by Leanne with uh, school board members, Shannon and Kristen. Uh, long range facilities planning is going to be chaired by Kristen this year with members Nick and Sarah. Our curriculum committee is going to be chaired by Sarah with Nick and Shannon as the members representing the board on that committee. And then building steering committee, which we have, you know, we, we because of COVID, we've <clears throat> kind of hit a stop. Point, um, with that committee, but it is still a standing committee um, and a, a significant long-term assignment for the board. Um, and so I am asking Nick Gill and Kristen Turner to take the seats this year. Um, and so you'll see if you, you know, you can go back and review um, what's written under the time commitments, unfortunately, and Diane and I talked about this a little bit earlier today, 
none of the committees are meeting um, with their regular frequency because some of them have been meeting more frequently due to COVID needs and some of them have been meeting less frequently. Um, and so right now, a lot of the committee assignments and especially the liaison roles just say TBD. Um, and so it's really important that we fill these roles um, and that, you know, should the committee meet that we have our representation there. Um, but for the time being, unfortunately, I can't provide a lot of guidance for some of my liaisons um, for exactly what that time commitment is going to look like. Um, but Diane did offer to reach out to Monique for some of um, some of the committees. And I think if you want to go on to the next slide, Kelly, please. Um, I think also another thing to take into consideration is I know that um, the board has expressed interest in having a retreat. And I think one of the things that I would like to put on the agenda for a board retreat is to really look at our liaison roles um, and see which of these things are still relevant, which of these things maybe could be consolidated into other committees, um, and which of these things, you know, you know, <laughs> really require more person, you know, another person, or you know, just make sure that we're evaluating what our role is on all of these um, different boards and, and committees that the, are operated by the staff. So this year, I will be taking the legislative liaison role. Um, we had a lot of interest as a board in this one. I think obviously the election energized us, um, and and quite frankly, COVID. I think all of us went to the legislative um, training sessions at the MSBA conference. Um, I think we all went to Pender Macon's, um, speak, you know, her her hour long talk. Um, and I think all of us are really interested in, and invested in making sure that Scarborough has a good, clear voice this year. And so that's definitely something that, um, you know, I'm going to be looking to everybody to help guide um, that work. Vocational, I also kept for my, myself. Nobody else expressed interest in it. But again, like if anybody else wants it, you can approach me and you can fight me for it. And, and maybe I'll consider giving that one over um, so that we build depth in that one. I have been um, the liaison to that committee for the last two years. Teacher evaluation, um, I put Shannon in that position. Our town council liaison this year is going to be Sarah and I have confirmation from the town council that their school board liaison is John Anderson. Last night at the town council meeting, the uh, they approved uh, a charter committee as well as a downtown committee. The downtown committee has nothing to do necessarily with the school board, but it goes with, uh, it bears mentioning that Sarah was selected to be on the downtown committee. So her plate is very full right now. Can't get enough serving Scarborough. <laughs> Um, but for us, I was very pleased that John Anderson made a motion, uh, an amendment to the motion to include a school board member. Um, and so I was able to appoint Leanne Casalonis to that spot. Um, the charter, I know, I'm looking forward to Leanne being able to give the board updates um, because there are certainly things in the charter that are relevant to us. I think about the, the charter, you know, we as elected officials are kind of the legislative branch just as much as town council is. Um, and so it's important that, that we have a say at that table. Health and safety advisory team is Alicia. Uh, comprehensive needs ass assessment is Kristen. She's also, Alicia's staying in that um, position as well as Kristen staying in her position. In the past, Kristen and I were both on there, um, but I think one school board member is, is perfectly fine. Um, dropout prevention team. Um, I've asked Nick to step into that role. And I think there's one more. Okay, maybe there's two more. <laughs> uh, district communication is another one where I think we can discuss as a board um, whether or not that this is something we still need. But for right now, I think it makes sense to have Leanne step into that role as she's our communications chair this year. Um, community business partnership is going to be Sarah. K-12 professional development redesign. I've asked Nick to step into that role. 
on transportation bus safety is Kristen again this year. Um, and I've also left Kristen in as the pre-K task force member. Is there one more? Nope. Nope, that was the last slide. Awesome, thank you very much, Kelly. Okay, so that was a lot and I, I was speaking really quickly, but it's good. It's getting late. So if anybody has any questions or concerns about their committee assignments, um, you know, please don't hesitate to let me know. These are not set in stone. And so if there really is a time commitment or a conflict that I'm unaware of, um, you know, we can certainly be flexible with the assignments. Moving on to new business, agenda item 9.3 is a, a um, donation approval. And I have the letter here. We have received a very generous donation of $3,335 from Heather and Brian Paquette for the backpack program. Because Mr. Paquette is a Unum employee, we will also receive a double matching grant for this donation, bringing the total to $10,005. The Paquettes who have two children enrolled in our district have been strong supporters of this program this is their seventh large donation in seven years, and we are very grateful for their steadfast support. I respectfully request that the board approve acceptance of this donation. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Then I think we're ready to vote. Okay. Mrs. Giftus? Yes, and I'd like to say thank you to the Paquettes and you know, Dr. Gill? Yes, and thank you. Ms. Casalonis? Yes, and thank you. Ms. Layton? Yes, thank you very much. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes, thank you very, very much. Mrs. Scyther? Yes, thank you. Mrs. Turner? Yes, thank you. Mr. Bennett? Yes, and thank you so much. This is so generous. And Ms. Giftis? Thank you as well. Um, I actually have a procedural question, Leanne. Did we need to vote on the committees? I think we did. Okay, I think so. <laughs> I think so too. And I realized I just grazed over that point. And I tried to raise so, my hand really fast. <laughs> Do I have a motion to approve the committee appointments? So okay. moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Okay, seeing none, Diane, I think we're ready to vote. Mrs. Giftis? Yes. Dr. Gill? Yes. Ms. Casalonis? Yes. Ms. Layton? Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes. Mrs. Scyther? Yes. Mrs. Turner? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. And Ms. Giftis? Thank yeah. you, guys. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I am going to bundle agenda item 9.4, 9.5, 9.6, 9.7, .9 and 9.8. These are all second readings of policies stemming from policy ACAA. They include ACAAR, ACAB, ACABR, and ACAD. Yes, I'm gonna include that one also. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? I just wanna say thanks again to the uh, Alicia and the policy team. Good job on that. Absolutely. Okay. I think we're ready to vote, Diane, thank you. Ms. Giftus? Yes. Dr. Gill? Yes. Ms. Casalonis? Yes. Ms. Layton? Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes. Mrs. Scyther? Yes. Mrs. Turner? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. And Ms. Giftis? Yes. 
Agenda item 9.9 .9 and 9.10 are second readings of policy JLF and JLFE. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Mrs. Giftis. Yes. Dr. Gill. Yes. Ms. Casalonis. Yes. Ms. Layton. Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom. Yes. Mrs. Seither. Yes. Mrs. Turner. Yes. Mr. Bennett. Yes. And Ms. Giftis. Yes. yes. Agenda item 9.11, I'm going to turn over to Nick to make a motion, please. Yes, I have uh, two distinct motions. The first one is I move to approve the ratification of a memorandum of understanding between the board and the SPS maintenance employees as an addendum to their existing, existing collective bargaining agreement. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Mrs. Giftis? Yes. Dr. Gill? Yes. Ms. Casalonis? Yes. Ms. Layton? Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes. Mrs. Scyther? Yes. Mrs. Turner? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. Ms. Giftis? <clears throat> yes. All right, and I move to approve the ratification of a memorandum of understanding between the board and the SPS administrators as an addendum to their existing collective bargaining agreement. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Mrs. Okay. Giftis. Yes. Dr. Gill. Yes. Ms. Casalonis. Yes. Ms. Layton. Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes. Mrs. Scyther? Yes. Mrs. Turner? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. Ms. Giftis? Yes. Agenda item 9.12 is a motion to authorize Scarborough Public Schools to enter into an MOU with Mid-Atlantic Equity Consortium. Do I have a motion? So moved. Okay. Second. Discussion? Lisa? Mrs. Giftos? Oh, oh, oh hold sorry. on. has discussion. Oh, sorry. I, I was just going to say thank you. Um, huge thank you for the time that everyone had put in to um, meet with them to provide the feedback. And the explanation was incredible tonight. Um, it really laid it out, it was clear, it was concise, and it gives so much um, confidence in them as an organization. So thank you for that. Alicia? Yes, thank you everybody for your hard work on such an important issue. And get, actually Gabby and I were talking during the break and saying the same thing that Leanne said that, that tonight was really um, very informative and, and helped us get um, a good idea of what um, the next step will be. I hope that that will be helpful to the community, um, our school community in particular. And I'm really anxious to, to get started on this work. Nick? Um, so I'll just say quickly that obviously diversity and acceptance is something that's very near and dear to my heart. And so Scarborough is a, a wonderful community, but if we've learned anything uh, in recent uh, months, it's that there's always more we can do, more we can learn, and more we can expand the way we understand the diversity that is all around us and that is changing all around us. So I'm really excited to work with this group. I'm excited to see Scarborough take these additional steps and become an even more welcoming community than it is for everyone. Agreed. Seeing no more comment, Diane, I think we're ready. Mrs. Giftis? Yes. Dr. Gill? Muted myself. Yes, yes. Ms. Casalonis? Yes. Ms. Layton? Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom? Yes. Mrs. Scyther? Yes. Mrs. Turner? Yes. Mr. Bennett? Yes. And Ms. Giftis? Yes. 
agenda item 10.0. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? Ms. Skiftis. Yes. Dr. Gill. Absolutely. Ms. Casalonis. Yes. Ms. Layton. Yes. Mrs. Lindstrom. Yes. Mrs. Scyther. Yes. Mrs. Turner. Yes. Mr. Bennett. Yep. And Ms. Giftis. Yes. yes. Thank you all so much for your time. Enjoy your Happy evening. Thanksgiving, guys. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Bye, y'all. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone.